I can't believe I'm 26. I'm closer to 30. No more excuses. Just no more excuses. So welcome back to my channel Kendra's. We are back with another vlog. This vlog is going to be a little bit, a lot of bit all over the place because like I said, no more excuses. But no, I have a lot of things going on um, this past month. As you guys know, I wasn't able to get my procedure when I was supposed to get my procedure um, because of my PTINR levels. So I ended up redoing my labs and they came back normal. So I went to Unique Aesthetics. Dr. Fisher is my doctor. And Unique Aesthetics called me on a Wednesday and was like, hey, your levels came back normal. Um, we had someone rescheduled for Tuesday. The date is not available. Do you want it? And I was like, damn, this is like in a couple of days. But I was like, you know what, let's just get it over with, fuck it. Um, and I took it. So I got my procedure done, guys. So this vlog is going to be a birthday vlog slash BBL journey vlog slash just like life update. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do like a little flashback of your girl's birthday. <laughs> Hey my kindreds, welcome back to another vlog. If you are new, welcome. But first hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button too so you can get notifications on whenever I post a new video. Now, today is Saturday, May 29th, a day and a half before your, your girl's birthday. Um, we are flying out to LA. Me and Alapu, we got ourselves together. We're about to fly out to LA. Last year, we celebrated our birthday in LA. And we're about to do it again this year. But we're going to do it even better. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I'm a little hot right now. I think the Uber is like three minutes away. So, yeah. made it to the airport. Well, beyond on time. I know I'm never on time. It's 3 50. My flight don't leave until 4 59. I ordered a, a pesto pizza. This is clutch. So good. I might have ordered a lot of some water. So, she yeah. She all right until we get, I got a layover in St. Fort Florida. I know. And I'm fine with spirit. Y'all please don't ask me. <laughs> California. It's late as hell. It's like two o'clock in the morning right now, but I want to give you guys like a quick um, tour of the room. Cute. There's this closet where I'm definitely gonna be hanging up all of my outfits. I have like ten looks for this three-day mini vacay. You already know I'm gonna definitely just lay out my jewelry up here. I love how it's mirror right here. Check out. It looks kind of retarded in the dark. These are all small as fuck. Good morning! It is currently Sunday, May 30th. So tonight at midnight is my birthday. And we are in LA right now. I've been to LA twice before and I have never seen the Hollywood sign. Ooh, everybody has a rooftop pool. Oh, we doing a rooftop pool party. But anyways, I've never seen the Hollywood sign so I get a little snippet. Look y'all, I get a little snippet of the Hollywood sign. Just a little snippet. Just just a little snippet. Look at Nala. Hey Nala Poo. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Just about to go ahead and unpack and like hang up like my clothes and stuff to see like what we wearing today. I was just on my computer trying to figure out like what it is that we were gonna do. Um I did find this one place, they were having like a day party. Okay, cool. Um I guess we can go check that out. But I need to find somewhere for us to have brunch. So I was gonna ask like the front desk, like, oh, is there like any good places where there's like unlimited mimosas? Like, do you know what's going on? So, yeah, but as of right now, I'm just gonna go ahead, start unpacking my stuff, getting a little bit, a lot of it to settle. And uh, yeah. Nala, why are you making all that noise? What's wrong? I think her allergies kicking in. Mm -hmm.
So let me know what it's gon' be I don't plan on getting no sleep Why we doing nothing? Moving too fast Candy paint with the windows all black Seats crème brûlée What they gon' say? With the top down screaming money in the day We up till six in the morning When the sunrise will be on it Boy, I got five, we all so alive Tell me when to go, baby, when we go Okay, so we have uh, the looks I have like some purses, um, all of my outfits and my poo wear, my hats up there, my sneakers and stuff down there. I have all my heels right here. That's for the weekend. I'm trying to do three looks a day, but it's looking like today I'm only going to get about two. Obviously, did my jewelry, my glasses, my face mask, and my perfumes. Um, my favorite one is this one. It's like my everyday one. Ariana Grande. That shit smells so good. That one smells really good as well. And then, yeah. Okay, so I, I got myself together, y'all. I'm feeling kind of cute. We just had one little dilemma. The lace is not secure. So I, I tried this, like, new adhesive. Um, it's silicone based. It's my first time using silicone based adhesive. And maybe I'm not doing it right. Maybe I need to watch me a little video um, of how to apply it with the silicone base. But baby, this shit right here is not secure. My wig has been sliding since last night. Um, I even tried taking it off and putting it back on this morning, thinking that it was secure, but it's not because the size is lifting, the, the, the wig is sliding, everything. So before I get my day started, I'm about to go to the beauty supply store and get me some ghost bond or a boho and try to fix my hair in the car and then um, do a half up half down look and um, then i'll show you guys my complete outfit y'all look at this nasty ass fucking car this motherfucker is dirty oh my god okay let me tell you this ghetto shit that i'm dealing with today so i Book reservations to stay at Dream Hollywood Hotel, right? That's right next to Tao. They got this fire ass rooftop with cabanas, the pool, dining area, and all of that, right? It's on the main page of their fucking website. It's on the main page. Let me turn this AC down so y'all can hear me. Because I don't think y'all gonna y'all gonna feel me right now. Let me start this over. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So Dream Hollywood Hotel. That's where I pay to stay. Room costs fifteen hundred dollars for three nights right on their main website it has access they have the, the 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 restaurant they have the they have the restaurant they have the pool they got the cabanas they got um a gym you know shit like that whatever cool it's a fire as hotel so okay i book reservations or whatever y'all tell me if i'm wrong i don't know i don't know how this shit work i just assume the shit is like advertised on your fucking website you know what i'm saying any hotel that I've been to, I've been able to eat and dine there or whatever it has to be. So the reason why I chose Dream Hollywood Hotel because the shit is fire. I don't want to drive all over the place. This was a last minute trip one. I don't have reservations for nothing because I don't know what the fuck is going on during Memorial Day weekend. Two. Three, I just figured I'd pick the, the, a fire hotel and just enjoy their fucking amenities. Amenities. So, I come here. I check in late Saturday night. I ask them... I wanted to make reservations for tomorrow, um, tomorrow, tomorrow um, afternoon for brunch. You know, da da da. They don't have no openings. Okay, you don't have no openings. What they gotta do with me? You don't have you you don't have no openings. You don't, you. What do you mean? You so the public has primary access to your restaurant in the hotel, and not your guests that staying to pay here. Make that make sense to me. Just make that make sense to me. Make that make sense to me. You telling me that your guest does not have access to dine, but the public do? Or not that the public do. The public is primary over your fucking guests? Are you serious? I hate it when, when restaurants be like, oh, we're booked. No, bitch, you're not fucking booked. Everybody who makes a reservation is not going to fucking make it. Let's just be clear here. Let's be clear. Even if you was to have me on a waiting list, you didn't even bother to have me on a waiting list. You tell me, oh no, um, um, we're fully booked, you know, da, da, da. Why you didn't 
when I booked my reservation, when I called and booked my, cause I called. When I called and booked my reservation, why you didn't tell me that? When I checked in, why you didn't tell me that? Oh, there's limited access to the dining. You know, you might not be able to sit. You know, before I checked in, before I gave you my motherfucking money, why you didn't tell me that? I'm annoyed as hell. One, yes, my birthday trip was last minute because y'all know I wasn't able to get my procedure. Okay, cool. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to LA, kick it and chill. Go to the the nice restaurant and enjoy. Go to the nice hotel and enjoy the restaurant. No. No, 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 no. That's not what's happening right now. So now I have to take extra energy out of my goddamn energy, if that even makes sense, to find somewhere for me to enjoy my goddamn birthday. This is ghetto. This is fucking ghetto. But now, you know what? It's cool. Because we're going to have a good weekend. Regardless, I'm going to tell you this Dream Hotel. They don't get kudo points for me. Not on no holiday weekend, because they full of shit. They don't want money back. I don't even want to stay here. I don't want money back. This is ghetto. Living in the bud, we never relaxing. Our cast is everlasting, not clashing, not at all. But see, my went to do a little acting. Now that's for anyone asking. Give me one pass them. Drip, drip, drop. There it goes an orgasm. Now you coming out the side of your face, you tapping right into your memory bank. Thanks. So bring me the ticket, let's see your seatbelt fastened. Trunk rattling like two minutes in the back seat, rattling. Speak the box, vibrate the tag. Make it sound like aluminum cans in a bag. But I know y'all wanted that 808. Can you feel that BASS way? But I know y'all wanted that 808. Can you feel that BASS way? phone call I kind of just like cut my birthday weekend short um, and I flew back to uh, New York to work um, I customized like some wigs and stuff um, she did some orders had class did some schoolwork and then I flew out to Miami to get your girls body done <laughs> hope to define Asian American studies as this critical, serious practice. Heterogeneity, hybridity, multiplicity, they are different ways of talking about difference and the importance of difference. Okay, so now me and Nala <laughs> are back home <laughs> and now we're headed to Virginia. I'm going to drop Nala off at home once again to her grandparents' house and then we're flying out in the morning to Miami because your girl is getting reconstructed, okay?
up and now I'm just like looking over the paperwork and signing. Uh, I'm a little nervous. I haven't been vlogging a lot because I'm really nervous and I look a mess. Like I just came straight from the airport to here. Um, but yeah, y'all I'm nervous. Um. Okay, I still haven't been able to get myself situated, but um, that's okay. Um, I'm headed to the nail salon right now to get my nails taken off. Nails soaked off and my brows done while I can and yeah. I can't wait to get back to the house so I can show you guys um, the inside of the house. It's real cozy, real cool. Um, I'm glad that I chose this spot to be at. Um, it's gonna be my home for the next seven days. I get to the damn nail salon and the fucking nail salon is closed. Closed on Mondays. I I hate this. Like why? So now I have to pay another ten dollars and wait another 20 minutes for an uber to come get me from here to go to another spot 20 minutes it's hot as hell y'all i'm pissed the fuck off right now voiceovers for for the today today I kind of want to do like a little video for you. Yeah, like a compound video for Instagram. Yeah, that'd be cool. First night, dinner. <laughs> Looks so good, smells so good. We made it. We're about to just unpack and shower and I have a few assignments that I have to do tonight, including a paper. And then I'm probably going to stay up and pull an all-nighter because I need to do my hair because I'm walking around here looking crazy. So, yeah, I guess it's just like the perfect time to just go through everything that I bought for surgery. Oh. You know, I just gotta, I'm just scared. Let me make sure I wake up like everybody else. Open up the windows too. So I'm to open up this window so I can see the outside. There's some sunlight in here. Some sunlight. So I'm in a room um, where there's four beds. So there's going to be a total of four girls in here. Two people yesterday just got LiPo 360. So it's a girl next to me and um, a girl all the way in the back. She got um, LiPo 360. And then this morning, um the person that i came in with yesterday she four o'clock this morning was her scheduled surgery time oh five o'clock this morning was her scheduled um, surgery time so she left here at 4 a.m this morning and they already have her bed prepped and ready for her to come back so i'm about to clean up my area and then set up my area myself you know give the nurses you know everything that i brought and needed for myself and then um yeah yeah, and this is my view. It's so cute. Look, this is the backyard. It's so cute. Like I'm on vacation. Now I'm about to move on and do my hair because we got an hour before we got to be about here. It's already 9 o'clock and I think we're going to leave out like a little after 10. This is my little area. So this is what I'm wearing today. Those are the pat underpads that I was telling you guys about. I got my satin pillowcases. I got my sandy wipes and my overnight pads and my urinal over there. And I should be set. 
She be good to go. And now we're just about to go ahead and do our hair. I got my wig, I got all my stuff laid out, and we got less than an hour to get ready. Okay, guys, so it is almost 11, it's 10 39. So we're about to get on the road and um, get there. I'm just gonna show you my little outfit that I got from Amazon. Thank <laughs> you. Alrighty. Yeah, hopefully. If they take me in time, on time. <sighs> Love you too. Oh, sorry, you could open the <laughs> No, you're fine. I didn't know you were. <laughs> I was going underneath the the, the trunk and then it, <laughs> and it was closing, and I didn't realize it was closing. But this is where I'm gonna be laying when I come back. Okay, so. Okay, so you guys are 12 o'clock. I'm just gonna get her to our surgery, then I get you. Hurry down. Oh, Lord. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm just about to do, I guess, my drug test and my pregnancy test, and then, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so nervous. <gasps> my battery's about to die. I didn't bring my other battery. <gasps> I probably most likely just see y'all when we get back to the house because my battery's about to die. So sad. So, when you do go through those things, you'll be like, okay, he did say that. That must be normal. Yeah. Still, when in doubt, if you have issues, questions, problems, I'm around. Okay. Um, worst thing that you can do, or the recovery house can do, is rush you off to the hospital. That is the worst thing you can do. Okay. Um, because you're going to be there forever. They're going to admit you to the emergency room because they don't have beds because it's the middle of the pandemic. You are going to get a $600,000 bill. And then at the end of all that, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, you're, you're fine. Like, why are you here again? No, just follow up with your doctor, <laughs> which you could have just done that in the first place. Yeah. So when in doubt, if you have issues, questions, problems, I'm around. That being said, I don't really uh, I don't really hear from patients that often. Okay, good. So you are 25 years young, even though you look like you're like 15. That's good. That's good. I actually have a birthday um, just passed, so I'm 26. Oh, ooh, you got old waiting for me. Yeah. <laughs> Day two, <laughs> day two of post surgery, and I'm about to just shower and take this dirty faja off. This is what my faja looks like right now. I got my first massage today. Yeah, I got my first um, massage today. <laughs> oh. And I'm about to get clean. Oh dear. I had a rough day today.